Alright, hey YouTube. So a lot of so as a lot of you may know, Apple announced the iPhone OS 4.0 today, and it was pretty short notice. They just sent out invitations on Monday, but they had a whole keynote today. You can go check out some live feeds of that, but this is just going to be a quick rundown of all the features for people that d haven't already seen it. And quickly, I want to mention that this is not coming out for a while, so it's not out now, so don't get too excited. Yeah, th this is just what they're going to have. I'll talk about the available availability later, but so as you can see here, it says over 100 plus new user features, and it has a few main upgrades. So, like, one thing that everybody really wanted was multitasking. And this brings support for multitasking to them. So, it has different multitasking services, like it says there. And so, this will allow applications like Pandora or Skype. Like, with Skype, you could make calls in the background, or Pandora. Those are the two examples they gave with Pandora. You could play music in the background. And then another thing that uh, they brought support for was folders or like categories if you have a jailbroken device and you can just drag and drop apps into folders that you want so that's easy to organize them which also allows you to have a lot more apps where normally you could have 180 but with this you could have right there it says 2160 apps if you filled everything with a folder and then they brought a bunch of new features to the mail application one of them was a universal inbox so that's pretty cool and then one another thing that I don't think is all that great is just they bought iBooks, the iBook store like they have on the iPad. They brought that to the iPhone. Also, there are some more features like iAd. This isn't something they're actually. This isn't like a new user feature, but like um, Apple is starting their own mobile advertising. Before most people used AdMob through Google, but this Apple will just give your their revenue directly to you through your developer account. And, a and then the enterprise, which allows businesses, which gives businesses a bunch of features for their advertising. And basically, it it's also a lot different advertising. They were showing off how it's not just like a regular ad, doesn't quit out of the app, but it's integrated and it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, so developers, that people that are already registered developers can download this now to start building their apps and introducing the new features to it. And now I'm going to be talking about compatibility with other devices. So it's the iPhone OS 4.0 is compatible with iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 2nd Gen, and iPod Touch 3rd Gen. But for the iPod Touch 2nd Generation and iPhone 3G, you won't be able to have multitasking, which is sort of stupid, I think. But it does also make sense, because they said the hardware just can't support it, which I understand, like the RAM would run out or whatever. But having... At least it, most of the other features would work. So my thoughts on this is that they did address a lot of the concerns that people had. And I definitely wanted multitasking and folders. Yeah, I definitely like the folders part. That's probably the best part, I think. Multitasking and folders were two things that I was really looking forward to. So I think Apple did a pretty good job on this. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. And it's going to be coming out? It's going to be coming out for the iPad in fall and for all of their devices later this summer. So, I'm definitely looking forward to then. But it is going to take a while. And I only have an iPod Touch 2nd Gen, so that's one thing that I'm sort of disappointed on. I might, I'm probably not going to get the 3rd Gen just for multitasking. So that's all for now, but I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe.